Okay. Call the meeting of the City Council to order for Tuesday evening, October 13, 2015. Please stand and join me as we salute our American flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good evening, Councilors, and I received a, a call this evening from Councilor Azak, who is a little under the uh, weather, so she's not here uh, with us this evening. I'm going to get more. <coughs> okay, and, and uh, yes, that's exactly right. Councilor Stewart, I believe, was uh, coming back, but he's also got uh, tied up in, uh, with the airline, if I'm not mistaken. And he just got back. He just got back, so that's why he's, uh, he's not here with us as well. So with that being, uh, that being said, we're ready to... Um, to move forward. Councilors, I, I need a motion on the first one, two, three items, if I might. Take, motion, them, take a motion. Take them collectively. Yeah, take them collectively, one, two, and three, Mr. President. Second. Motion been made and second that we take them collectively. All in favor? Opposed? Mr. Clerk will read them. The petition of Metro Sign and Awning, 170 Lorem Street, Tewksbury, Mass., to spend signs, free signs at 50 Center Street, in Council, October 13, 2015. Refer to the uh, Committee on Public Safety. We have the report of the Finance yeah, Committee for its meeting of October 5, 2015. Accept it on file. Accept and placed on file. I'm sorry. We have a communication from the Chief of the Fire Department requesting that the City Council authorize the acceptance and expenditures of a grant in the amount of $500 from Spectra Energy this Foundation. Is this is a non-matching grant with no cost to the city. Yep. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Mayor recommending the City Council authorize the acceptance of a donation any amount of $300 <coughs> from Harbor One Bank to City of Rockton Fire Department. Intended use is in the area of youth education and prevention. These funds will be utilized by our fire prevention officer to assist in delivering the message of fire safety to the students of Brockton. This is a donation with no cost to the city. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the chief of the police Chief of Police of the Fire uh, Strike that. From the Chief of the Police Department, requesting a transfer of ownership of two motor vehicles, retired dial A BAT minibuses, donated to the Brockton Police Department by the Brockton Area Transit Authority. The only stipulation is that the Brockton Police Department pay the cost of the leased tires, a total of $800 for both vehicles. The department will do this from its fiscal 16 budget. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on Communication file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. <coughs> Communication from the superintendent of schools. Request the city council accept a grant award in the amount of $571,000. $152 under the McKinney Vento Education of Homeless Children and Youth Assistance Act. This reimbursement is to supplement <coughs> the transportation costs associated with homeless students and is crucial to the con continued success of this program. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Mass Board of Library Commissioners requesting the City Council to accept the grant in the amount of $15,000. These funds will be dispersed by the MBL in the amount of 7500 for fiscal year 2016 and an additional 7500 for fiscal year 2017. These funds are from the STEM program, which works to support and improve science and technology education. There is no match requirement. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have an audit of many part two of the revised audiences of the City of Brockton, be it ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows. Part two, part two of the revised ordinances of the <coughs> City of Brockton is hereby amended by increasing various fees. In Council, July, July 27, 2015, ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Ordinance. In Council, passed with third reading by a hand vote on September 28th. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Barnes. No. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. What number is this? 2020. 20. Sorry. Yes. 
Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. No. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Seven in the affirmative, two in the, excuse me, nine in the affirmative. The order is ordained. An order from any Chapter 8 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton be ordained as follows. Chapter 8, garbage and trash, hereby amended by adding the following new article. Article 3, abandoned shopping carts, in Council April 13, 2015. Ready to refer the Standing Committee on Ordinance. In Council September 28, 2015, substitute <coughs> ordinance passed by hand vote. This recommendation is favorable as amended. And the question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Napoli. No. Dubois. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Zidinsky. Yes. Yes. The order is Mr. President, I make a motion for reconsideration on number 21 in hopes it does not prevail. Second. Second. It's been made and seconded for reconsideration on, on number 21 in hopes it does not prevail. All in favor? Opposed? Reconsideration fails. An order from any Chapter 23 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton be ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows. Pursuant to Chapter 23, Section 30, F6, in substitution for the water rate increase proposed by the Brockton Water Commission on February 10, 2015, and Council July 27, 2015, we're going to refer to the Standing Committee on Ordinance, and Council September 28, 2015, Passed with third reading. Recommendation favorable. Mr. President. Council of Dubois. I would just like to be heard on this in this um, item, if you don't mind. Go right ahead, So Council. this this item, for the very first time in my 10 years on the City Council, is going to be raising water rates without any um, special consideration given to the single person that is living in their apartment or in their home, elderly. Uh, individuals mostly and so just like every other uh, bracket in the water uh, rate column it, everything is going to go up 10 percent in the first year 10 percent in the second year 10 percent in the third year and then 2.5 percent in the fourth year and there will not be another vote on this so we are passing rate increases over the next four years with no special consideration for the lowest rate payer, which is something that I find abhorrent, and I am going to be voting against it. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Councillor. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Napoli. Yes. Dubois. No. Pioneer. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eight in the affirmative. The order Mr. is President, adopted. Council of Cruz. Make a motion for reconsideration in the hopes it does not prevail. Second. Motion been made and second for reconsideration in the hopes it does not prevail on item number 22. All in favor of reconsideration? All opposed? Reconsideration fails. The appointment of Mario Lopes Elves, 23 Smith Avenue, Brockton, as Constable, City of Brockton, for a term of three years, in Council September 28, 2015. <coughs> I read and refer to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. The question is on confirmation by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Napoli. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. <coughs> yes. Yes. The, the appointment is confirmed. The appointment of David AZF, Five Talk and Hill Lane, Bridgewater, as a constable of the city of Brockton for a term of three years. And Council September 28, 2015. Ready for the Standing Committee on Finance. I report as favorable. The question is on confirmation by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Napoli. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Zidinsky. Yes. <laughs> yes. Not in the affirmative. The appointment is confirmed. Appropriation of $218,000 from unappropriated receipts, physical tax, 16 <coughs> tax levy, <coughs> police department personnel services other than overtime, $165,000, personnel department, employees benefits, 51000 Treasury's Medicare tax, $2,000, in order to provide funding for six additional police recruits and their benefits for six months. This is a conditional certification for fiscal 16 only. Funding will allow for six new recruits in addition to those already in the bu budget, bringing the size of the requested class to 11. 
CFO cannot provide a positive certification for the years after fiscal 16 because this action exacerbates the fiscal budgetary imbalance which we now experience. And Council September 28, 2015, referred to the Committee on Finance. Our report is favorable. And the question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Sinatra. Yes. Wild. Yes. Ionieri. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. 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 The order is adopted. An appropriation of $20,000 from overlay surplus, fiscal 2008, $20,000. To library personal services, overtime, $8,000. Library purchase of services, $12,000. <laughs> to provide the funding necessary for the agreement to add a grant from the Library Foundation for the extending of hours at the West Elm and East Branches, eight hours per week at each branch for the balance of the fiscal year. This funding adds to the contribution of $75,000 from the Brockton Library Foundation. Furthermore, requested that the City Council authorizes the acceptance and expenditures of $75,000 from the Brockton Library Foundation for purposes of providing an additional eight hours per week at each of the West and East branches for the rest of this fiscal year. In Council September 28, 2015, for the Committee on Finance, I report as favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Anthony. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Ionieri. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Vincent. Yes. Yes. The order is adopted. Appropriation of $366,330 from landfill reserve account to Thatcher Street Landfill for maintenance, repair, replacement, and other related projects for the continuing maintenance of the Thatcher Street Landfill. And Council September 28, 2015, refer the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Questions on adoption by roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Anthony. Yes. Savoy. Yes. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. The order is adopted. Transfer of $16,590 from the ambulance receipts account to the department equipment for the following two purchases, $15,690 for nine performed mobile software licenses for use by the contracted ambulance services. This will provide the ability for a two-way flow of dispatch and information between fire alarm and the ambulances in the field. Included in this request is the annual maintenance fee for support services of the mobile licenses. This enhances safety of the members and security of information. <coughs> Two would be $900 for the purchase of three emergency medical dispatch, EMD, guide cards, and racks. These will be used by the fire alarm operators for receiving and dispatching emergency medical incidents in compliance with coverage standards. In Council September 28, 2015, refer the Committee on Finance and report as favorable. Questions on adoption by roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, <coughs> please call the roll. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Anthony. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Kedinsky. Yes. Yes. Elvis. Yes. The order is adopted. An appropriation of $560,000 from fiscal 2009 overlay surplus, $220,000. Fiscal 2011 overlay surplus, $340,000 to the stabilization fund. This funding comes from the surplus and overlay accounts as identified by the Board of Assessors in a letter dated July 20, 2015, and Council September 28, 2015, ready for the Standing Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Ionieri. Yes. Monica. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eating permit. The order is adopted. Appropriation of $130,000 from overlay surplus fiscal 2008 to stabilization fund to provide additional funding in the stabilization reserve. The funding comes from overlay surplus amounts as declared by the Board of Assessors. The total declared for fiscal 2008, 9, and 11 was $750,000 inclusive. The intended use is $60,000 from the fiscal 2008 amount 40,000 for holiday decorations and 20,000 for library grant match. But also the intent is moving the balance to the stabilization fund. The total to the stabilization fund from the three years will be $690,000. In Council <coughs> September 28, 2015, refer to the Committee on Finance, every put is favorable. The question is on adoption by roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Yes. 
The order is adopted. An appropriation of $488,156 to several of the city department heads. <clears throat> the CFO, in accordance with Section 5 of Chapter 324, the Acts of 1990, certifies that the financial resources and revenues for the city of Brockton are and will be adequate for fiscal 16 only to support the proposed appropriation for various sources of $488,000. $488,156 to various departments for the purpose of settling a three-year contract with the Labor's Union. This is conditional certification for f fiscal 16 only. He's able to uh, <clears throat> provide a certification for fiscal 16 because the funding comes from unappropriate fiscal 15 revenues, primarily tax levy growth. However, for fiscal 17 and beyond the contract with Jasperi, the budgetary imbalance described in fiscal 16 budget letter and in the credit reports of Moody's and Standard and Poor. These are available on the Finance Department webpage. Appropriation is favorable. The question is on adoption by roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Napoli. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. <coughs> yes. Yes. The order is adopted. Appropriation of $167,000 from unappropriate estimate receipts, fiscal 16, tax levy, $167,000. To library personal services, other than overtime, $165,500. Library personal services, overtime, $1,500. And out of pride funding for all the costs, including retroactive costs of a collective bargaining agreement between the city and its library union employees, local 808 unit of SEIU, for the three year period of 7 1 2013 through 6 30 2016. This three year settlement provides for an increase to base wages of 2% for fiscal 14, 2% fiscal 15, and 1.25 for fiscal 16. For a total of 5.25, it also provides for a one time cash payment equal to 1% of base wages of fiscal 14 and fiscal 15. This funding is from tax levy new growth, which is greater than budgeted, not from the unused levy amounts inside the levy limit allowed from 2.5 annual growth. This is a conditional certification for fiscal 16 only. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Fedinsky. Yes. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eight in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Order that the City Council approves the boundaries of the proposed D.W. Clark Economic Opportunity Area, more particularly described as 14 East Union Street, Assessors Map 129, Plot 1, Parcel ID 129-233, East Union Street, and approves the application for approval of the D.W. Clark EOA to the Economic Assistance Coordinating Council. End Council, September 28, 2015. Fair the Standing Committee on Finance. I report is favorable. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Pioneering. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Fedinsky. Yes. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. The, the order is adopted. Dissolved that City Council hereby authorizes a tax increment financing plan encompassing the property described as 14 East Union Street. Assessors Map 129, Plot 1, Parcel ID 129 233, East Union Street. And further, that the City Council approves the tax increment financing plan of Commercial Yard LLC on behalf of D.W. Clark Inc. and forward said application to the Mass Economic Assistance Council for its approval and endorsement in Council September 28th. Ready to refer to Standing Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Yes. Cruz. Yes. 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 The order is adopted. Order that the City Council authorizes the acceptance of a donation of two retired dial bat minibuses from Brockton Area Transit Authority to the City of Brockton Police Department. The only stipulation is that the Brockton Police Department pays the cost of the lease tires, a total of $800 for both vehicles. The department will do this from its fiscal 16 budget. Referred to finance. 
an appropriation of $500,000 from Spectra Energy Foundation, City of Brockton Fire Department, Spectra Energy Foundation Grant Fund. Intended use for these funds is towards the purchase of one laptop computer to be used in the field for hazardous material responses, code enforcement, and fire prevention activities. This is a non-matching grant with no cost to the city. Refer to finance. Appropriation of $300 from Harbor One Bank, City of Brockton Fire Department. The intended use is in the area of youth education and prevention. This is a donation <coughs> of no cost to the city. Refer to finance. An appropriation of $571,152 from McKinney Vento Education of Homeless Children and Youth Assistance Act of Fiscal 2016 to non-net school spending budget. This act provides funding to reimport reimburse some costs of the mandated transportation associated with homeless students and provides additional buses to serve all eligible students. Referred to finance. An appropriation of $15,000 from Mass <laughs> Board of Library Commissioners, State Plan for Library Service and Technology Act, LSTA, direct <coughs> grant program entitled Serving Tweens and Teens. To Brockton Library Department, Library Services, Technology Act, direct grant program fund. These funds will be dispersed by the MBL in the amount of $7,500 for the fiscal year 2016, an additional $7,500 for fiscal 2017. These funds are from the STEM program, which works to support and improve science and technology education. There is no match requirement. Referred to finance. Mr. President, <laughs> if I could, uh, I, I know uh, We've discussed recently about late files, but I am respectfully going to ask for, uh, for two late files. Uh, the first late file uh, I discussed with the President and also Legislative Council last week. It, it had been prepared and unintentionally left off the agenda, but I have disclosed uh, previous uh, weeks ago uh, to, uh, to my colleagues it's relative to the Ganley Building, and I have given it to the clerk, so I make that in the form of a motion. Second. second. Motion has been made and seconded to accept the late file. All in favor? Opposed? Mr. Clerk, please Three. read it. Resolved that the mayor and the city solicitor be invited to appear before a committee of this council to report on what is being done to have the Commonwealth return to the city the Ganley Building property. And if nothing is being done, to discuss commencing efforts to have the Commonwealth return this property to the city. And that's referred to finance. Council Sullivan. Mr. President, the second late file uh, actually is in conjunction with what we just voted on, agenda item number 30. And as you recall, when the CFO, Mr. Conan, was here, uh, last week, it's relative to $40,000 for uh, coming out of the Department of Ordinary Maintenance for holiday decorations, and um, I am going to make the form of a motion. I have, uh, I have it here. If I could get a second on that. Second. second. Motion's been made and seconded to accept the late file. All in favor? Opposed? We accept the late file. I am also, uh, Mr. President, going to ask that we take on the suspension of the rules due to the fact that we just did a final vote on number 30, and also because it's coming up to the holiday season. Uh, it's been uh, disclosed to me that time is of the essence to start acquiring these things. Correct. Second. Motion's been made and seconded. We're going to suspend the rules and act on it as well this evening. All in favor of that? Opposed? Can we want to read the... Um <laughs> In City Council, October 13, 2015, Ordered that the sum of $40,000 is hereby appropriated from overlay surplus fiscal 2008 to DPW Highway Department ordinary maintenance for holiday decorations and lights for Main Street. Questions on adoption, uh, Mr. Clerk, will you please uh, call the roll? Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Benaptis. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Yes. Zedinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Meeting the firm. The order is adopted. Because I make Council a motion for reconsideration, hopes it does not prevail. Second. Motion been made and seconded for reconsideration, hopes it does not prevail. All in favor of reconsideration? Oh, 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 All opposed? <laughs> reconsideration uh, reconsideration yeah, fails. Yeah. Councils, next Monday evening we have finance right here in, um, in the Council Chambers, October 19th at 7 o'clock p.m. Any other business? Councilor Rodriguez. Uh, Mr. President, thank you very much. A moment yes. of personal privilege, if I you could. You may. Uh, I just want to invite the council and members of the community at large to a forum that we're holding at St. Edith Stein tomorrow evening from 6 to 9.30 on immigration issues affecting many members of our community. It's being sponsored by the Cape Verdean Association and the Justice Center of Southeastern Mass, free of charge at St. Edith Stein from 6 to 7.30. Thank Very you, good. Thank you, Councillor. Any other, any other business to come before the City Council this evening? Seeing none, this meeting is adjourned. <laughs>